Good evening, folks, and welcome to Alien Addict. Um, I hope everybody is fine and dandy. Now, let's uh, just address the octopus in the room. Um, the sunglasses, uh, the light is shining in something chronic if I open them curtains to the point where you can't actually see me, uh, which is not too much of a bad thing. Um, so I've, I've, I've literally, I've put a bulb here and it, if, if I take my sunglasses on and do a 10 minute video, uh, you know, I'll be semi blind. If it's 20 minutes long, I'll be totally blind. So you've got me looking a bit maverick today. So there you go. I want to say a massive, massive thank you to my two new Patreons, Bug. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I, 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 whenever I get a new Patreon, I like to do a little bit of art for them. So if you have like a profile picture, kind of, I know what to do it on. Now, Bug didn't have a profile picture of a bug, but um, I just thought with a name like Bug, I, I, I did the Silence of the Lambs bug and stuck my logo on the back of it. Um, and Dan Mill 6660, I, um, you didn't have any, any logo, but I just, with the 666, I just thought, you know, He's a devil worshipper, so I'll, I'll do some alien skulls that look quite demonic and uh, stick stick three sixes on its um, on the head and interlink them. So I hope you like them, guys. Um, I, it means a lot. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Um, I often wonder why people support it, but uh, you know, it's. Uh, God loves a try, and I'm trying. I'm going to try and take this channel to the freaking moon if I can. Um, it's hard though, and I kind of wanted to do this video and just kind of to have a little discussion because I've done a, a few videos without me even in them. I did the video that I put out about um, when I watched the Stephen Greer film, Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind. Um, it's not bad. Um, it's all right. I'll speak about that in an interview I think um, but I did like a piece of UFO footage in in that film and stupidly enough I should this is how long I've been away from the debunking scene I should have kind of like noticed it straight away um, it was just a clip that was put a tiny tiny clip of this like what looks like the typical triangle ufo moving about and then it disappears so i would have thought skydivers if i'd have seen the full bit of footage but i didn't i only saw that and i thought well that skydivers stay about for longer but that's me being naive and thinking that a a documentary that is you know supposed to be giving out truth would be really honest and would put the full bit of footage but the actual I mean, the place is what they say it's it's Oakland or whatever. I can't remember. I probably got that wrong. But it, it's uh, Timble, or is it Tomble? Timble or Tomble? Anyway, you know, it's it's thousands and thousands of miles away. It's completely different. They said it was two thousand nineteen. It was two thousand eighteen. I know potato, potato. Or, um, but the detail wasn't there and uh, ufo of interest um you know I, I asked ufo of interest for an in interview as well you know and he said maybe 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 my friend we may sort this out in the future so that that would be nice he didn't say those exact words i made that up um but he did he kind of said it could happen um but he pointed this uh the original bit of footage out for me so I have to give a shout out to him and I'll put the links to his channel uh, below. Osvaldo Franco called it straight away as uh, skydivers. And I was like, yeah, it is skydivers, as you're right. Um, the Gib, he, he said skydivers. Third phase of moon said skydivers. Third phase of moon, the debunkers now. Beautiful men. Excellent work. I think they're getting their own back on me there. Um, it's strange. I just glanced at the 
myself and I look a bit like a bit of a tit indoors with sunglasses on but you, you know you, you you've got you've got it there I also I look tired my my two children have been so, so well behaved uh, during this period where we're not allowed to go outside um it's um I suppose we are, they are, well they're actually they're out now mum's taken them out for a, a walk um I know you're thinking, yes, I need to get out more. You know, I'm very pasty. I, I know. But I'm going to do a barbecue after this video. I've just come on basically to say hi and, you know, put put my face out there. For anybody that's new to the channel, this is not just the channel that just puts out some UFO footage with some beautiful music over the top and then says, like, share and subscribe, support my Patreon page, blah, blah. But we do say like, share and subscribe and... Uh, support the patreon page but there is a face to the channel there's a face to this ufo channel i'm speaking far too close to this mic because for the past probably three minutes my voice has probably been booming um but yeah it's it's nice to get on camera and i'm not going anywhere and i know i always say that my life is so hectic and i know what you're thinking now shut the hell up Everybody's life is hectic right now that's got kids at home. Yes, I. if you've got five kids, I do. My thoughts go out to you. Um, I've got two. Um, two boys. My, my wife wants a little girl. Um, it's not going to happen. Uh, I'm not getting the snip, but it's not going to happen. We're not going to have... We're just not going to procreate anymore, I've decided. Um, anyway... On a, on a different subject of the UFOs, back to Greer's um, spectacular film. I mean, quite possibly the greatest thing I've ever seen since the first Alien film. Um, <laughs> no, uh, Greer, I, 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 if you're watching this, I, I know you're one of the biggest fans of the channel. Um, I... I I, I did. If, if anybody's watched it, there's there is a part in that where where Greer cries, and uh, it, I don't I don't think it was acting. You know, it was. I was like quite shocked. I mean, those were real tears. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, it could just be tears for for TTSA for what the, uh, you know. It, it could be that because there is a, there's so much like remorse for to the stars academy in that documentary there is a part of the documentary mid midway through where uh the the doc just kind of goes off on one about ttsa being this like kind of psyops it is it's brilliant to watch i i, I will say this you know um and i got a pro like a an early viewing Oh, Osvaldo Franco sent me a link. God bless his soul. Um, and he's also if you're watching this now, I need you to leave a comment. When you're going to come on and do this goddamn interview? I don't know where to look because um, I don't, don't know. I forgot the camera's here. The camera is here because it used to be up here. I never look at the camera anyway. Uh, I'm speaking far too loud. But yeah, um, the film. It's. it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. I mean, I, I know Rich from Goof on Radio, he fell asleep. I sent him the link and uh, he said, I said, what did you think? Well, he says, he wasn't very impressed. Um, but he fell asleep. So it doesn't count when he fell asleep. Maybe it does. I, um, I really did enjoy um, Unacknowledged. I, I enjoyed that film. Um, I'm saying film, documentary, whatever. You know, I enjoyed it. I, I kind of, I liked uh, Sirius. I, I enjoyed that with the little, um, the little guy, you know, the little Anacana, whatever it were called, uh, Chilean um, midget. Um, I, I don't know if you're allowed to say midget on YouTube. Anyway, um... I'm kind of like I'm very I'm very stuck on the kind of direction because I 
I didn't realise it till probably two two years ago how much Greer's into all the spiritual stuff. You know, it's. It, I, I would like to, it, it, Stephen, if you are watching this, or Doctor Stephen, Doctor Greer, if you are watching this, and you've taken out your time because I've left a little sexy thumbnail, um, I would love to interview you, and you know maybe you can talk me through this meditation, um, and how it works, how it actually works to summon these uh, these these beings, um, because. I, 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 it confuses me when I, when I see this um, this sort of mind. I, I mean, I do believe that our minds, our our minds, are not being used to their potential. If you've managed to tap into that, Stephen, uh, Doctor Stephen, amazing. But you need to tell us more. I don't think the documentary told me enough about how you're doing it. I would like to know that. I mean, maybe it's like it's like uh, the KFC gravy. It is a, a top secret, or Coca Cola, or whatever. You know, you can't give that secret away. But it it adds more credibility if you're kind of telling us how this is done. And uh, yeah, but I, I, I've you look, some of the bits of there's some UFO footage in there that looks really, really good, I have to say. But it's tiny, tiny clips and then it cuts off. So it's not showing us enough. And this is exactly what happened with that piece of UFO footage that I put a little kind of uh, musical video. I thought, oh, that's really interesting. I'll put it on the channel. Uh, and then lo and behold, you guys started to debunk it. So I've, like I said, it, when I'm, I'm not always going to come on camera. That sounded disgusting, um, <laughs> but if I make a mistake, and I did, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to put the kids to bed tonight, and I'm going to get straight on that, I'm knackered, but I'm going to get straight on that debunk, I had to do it, because I felt wrong that I'd put it out in the first place, and no, I'm not going to delete the original video, because I like it. I like I like the I like the whole thing, you know. It's a little bit of history to to what my channel's done. There's a few videos that I've deleted in the past, you know, about worrying about getting a copyright strike after uh, Scott C. Ware nearly destroyed my channel with two strikes in one day. The uh, beautiful man. Um, make sure you subscribe to Scott C. Ware. You know, see, 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 Scott. You see, I'm I'm kind of very forgiving. I'm even sending people your way. The trolls. Um, but yeah. In other news. Secure Team 10 is back. Our boy Tyler is back in town. He's been doing some work for me on the sidelines. I don't know if you've noticed in the last. In that de the debunk video. He was on piano. Um, but uh, yeah. It, Tyler. He's back. Um and I'm hoping everything's okay as well. Uh, and uh, maybe at some point, maybe, you know, we, me and Tyler have been talking. I know you know this. I know a lot of you don't approve of that. But you're not my parents. I don't think my parents approve of that, actually. Um, but he may come on the channel at some point. And that, that would be a very, very good interview. It wouldn't be live. It would probably be me just... Me and him having a chit chat, and then I'll edit edit the video after. Um, but yeah, that would be. I don't know how I'm supposed to tell you about that, but I kind of maybe I'm maybe I want a few of you guys to go over on Twitter or in his comments and going. You said you'd go on Alien Addict. Get your ass on there, Tyler. Get your sexy ass on Alien Addict. I want it. I want your bottom on Alien Addict. Yes. So, I know what, and before, before you even start with this shit, because I know there is a lot of the channels out there that are going, I knew it! I knew it! I knew what this boy's after. He's after the interview. Well, I've been speaking to, I've been speaking to Secure Team 10 now for nearly two years, I've had 
maybe I'm exaggerating there, a year and a half, a long time, he approached me, I didn't approach him, um, and uh, I became, I became all right mates with him, you know, I can't, I, I'm, I'm friends with the twins, uh, third face of moon, I like to think that I'm not stupid though, you, you know, I've got third face of moon in my ear, I've got Tyler in my ear, I, I know why, but I, if they're going to use me for a bit, I'll use them for a bit, you know? On the and on the back of it, on the back of the using, if we're going to be honest, I've, I've become friends with these people. Because we're like... <sighs> this is a, such a weird community, the UFO community. And it's so weird how a channel with... Nearly three and a half thousand subscribers has these big giant channels actually knowing th about this channel. You know what? What Tyler's commented a couple of times on the videos, then soon deleted the message because some of the trolls came on and started to have a go at him. And third phase have come on. Third phase always leave their comments up, um, and then you've you know you've got the the debunkers that kind of don't know what to make of me. They think that I'm kind of this sellout person. What what you guys don't seem to understand is what I want to do with this channel. It's it's like this channel's... It's, it's like Marmite, you know? You either you love it or you hate it. And uh, I don't even like Marmite, but I like the angle that I'm wanting to go with this. You know, I'm going to get the the interesting people on to interview. Um, Tony, I and I am going to get Vern on. Vern, I'm going to get you on. I am not scared of you, my friend. Uh, I Don't worry. I, I will get you on. And I want you to uh, talk about your uh, experience. There's lots of people who I want to get on this channel. Um... You know, there is the the four four the four one one channel. Um, it, it, an amazing like guy that goes out into the forest. Um, the Gib, um, which is also a YouTuber, recommended him to me. He goes out into he goes out just like out into the, the open, looking at and investigating stuff. Uh, a British guy like myself, um, it's quite good looking like myself. Um, you know, so and I'll get this guy on at some point. That that it will happen, but at the minute, and you guys are saying this is great that you guys are telling me, alien, Eddie, you've got to get this person on, and I do speak to these people, and then they're kind of like, well, what happened to the interview that you were going to give me? Yeah, life got in the way, my friend. Life got in the way. This is what happens. Life just keeps getting in the way. Uh, it's good life, you know. It's my my little angels. You know, that leave uh, cars all over the floor for me to tread on. And, and I don't know if any parents out there, yeah, cars aren't like normal cars anymore. They're not like this little police car thing. I think that's a French police car. It's not a British one. It's not an American one either. I don't know if I can turn it off. Okay. Cars, when you tread on them these days, they're not just like a normal fucking car. They've got like horns on them and shit. And um, this here, this little bastard, yeah, from from Cars, the film. These horns made my dad's nose bleed because. <laughs> my little my little lad when I first got him this he chucked it and it hit his grumper that's what we call his granddad grumper because he's grumpy hit him straight on the nose and he just literally pierced his nose uh, but yeah you know Hot Wheels these days are killers they've got like things on the back of them that can only be described as weapons weapons to the foot um, yeah I've gone, I've gone off track again but I needed just to kind of just let you all know that I am still here. There is not some bot just running my channel that's putting random um, Curly Bob videos, Skinny Bob's videos out and uh, just like 
random little UFO videos. I am here. I am the man that's doing it. Yeah, let me know if you like those little um, music videos that I put together, or even just the little UFO clips. If you want more of that stuff, I'll, I'll give you more of that stuff. I, I don't know whether to... I, I don't know kind of put like a few of those out then come on and talk about the ones that I've done um that you guys can let me know in the comment section uh one thing I do want to say and it's kind of like a little warning to all the you people that are craving UFO footage is that I have noticed uh channels that we 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 all subscribe to um that we all know and love are putting out some hoax some hoaxes at the moment um some of the smaller channels and some of the bigger channels uh whether they know or not i don't know um i may point a few of them out um but it's it i think for some of these ufo channels that make really good money off it it will start to become very tempting to do that and what i would say to any of you guys watching that have a channel is don't you know if you cannot if you can't cut it and you can't put a video out and just blabber on about bullshit like i have you know in in hard times when there's nothing to put out then you know maybe put go back to some of your older footage and that is really good and talk about it please please we don't we, we we've 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 got to a point now in ufology where the hoaxes have started to calm down a little bit you know they're starting to become on our side uh they're starting to you know give us some of the real stuff that started to give us great interviews great documentaries you know just don't be tempted to use footage that's not real and going back to the the debunk that i did from stephen greer's latest film um i don't actually know if greer might have you know known full well that that wasn't a ufo it might have been part of the the team that put the video together the edit do the last minute edit that they may have done all that and they may have made the mistakes they may have got the footage from somebody who said oh this is really good bang this on it's so and so so and so and it might be somebody who works for the team who you know was panicking because he wasn't getting the the best footage and he he just thought bang this in i'm going to change the dates and he thought he could get away with it um for all i know stephen greer could be really pissed off about that uh bit of footage in there i don't know uh, so i'm not going to put any blame on dr greer uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, innocent till proven guilty. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I'm Alien Addict. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to the channel. Um, if if you want to support the channel further, it would mean the world to me. Become a Patreon, you know, it's it's the only way to, to grow on YouTube these days, especially if you have... Uh, an alien UFO channel you, you speak about these type of things because YouTube doesn't seem to want to put it out into the the algorithm like they used to do so you know on that being said guys I the main thing that you can do for this channel especially when I do those little um when I put a, a piece of UFO footage out, when I put a debunk, if, if my voice is not on it and I've spent a bit of time putting some music behind it and what have you, and it's a good quality video, I'm not saying share this out because somebody new to the channel that sees me being a dickhead, you know, they're not going to know, they're not going to know my background, they're not going to, th they're, they're, gonna, they're just going to watch and think, what am I watching here? Um, this video is for the subscribers, by the way. This This is not, a video that's meant for new people to the channel um you'll know that if you are if you've been here for a long time that this is meant for you guys um yeah so the main thing you can do for me is share my channel share the videos that i do 
put them out on Twitter, put them out on Facebook. You know, if you if you speak to other people in UFO forums or whatever, you just let them know about me. I I, I am very much like a, an acquired taste. I do understand that, but um, you know, I can't even. I spend more of my time looking at bright things in my living room than looking at the camera because I can't seem to. My mind never focuses. I'm always like all over the place. And this is why I'm like, when I'm talking, this is why when I interview, it always goes off in different directions. Um, a last note on, on the interviews. They are going to come. Um, I, I re that, That's what I enjoy doing the most is the interviews. They take the most work to edit. They're going to come. It's a little bit hard interviewing because an interview can be about three hours long because I, I speak to the guest beforehand. Uh, the guest may, may may tell me what they don't want to speak about, which I, I, have, I have respect for that. Um, that'll probably be the same if Tyler comes on the channel, you know, we'll speak uh, beforehand. He'll probably say, please don't speak about so-and-so, so-and-so. And I might say, you know, Fair enough. I'll, I'll respect what people what people people don't want to speak about something. They come on the channel and I interview them. I'm going to respect that. But I will ask my own questions. You know, um, I'm not scared to ask uncomfortable questions. The guests may not want to answer it, but you know. Anyway, guys. On that note, make sure you like, share, subscribe. You know all that bullshit. And uh, good night. God bless. Mind the bugs. Don't bite. I'm Alien Addict.